Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to day two at Superior Engineering on the new season seven giveaway D Max build. And I think that this is by far the best one that we have done yet. I think that we have now dubbed it as the Daily Tura. She is an absolute weapon. And yesterday, we got the off road animal predator bar on, I some rigid lights of the GME whip, I some off road animal side steps, and the X bar by Heyman Reese on the back. So today what we've got to do is tighten up with the side steps, tighten up with the rear tow bar, put some uh, suspension under this thing, wheels and tires, drive it back home and get it all wired up by helm to get given away to one of you guys. So that's where we're at and let's just get into it. Alright, so now it's time to fit the P-Core Trail Connect. I just fit a Anderson plug and a breaker controller to your car all in one harness. Bloody beautiful a piece of kit. We're gonna get this all ran for the boys at helm with the wire up because we just don't have the time up here to do it, unfortunately. But it is that easy. There's three really notice, really notable, actually no. We're gonna go four. There's four really good things about it. One, looks looks way better than that stock bar. Two, it raises though, your bar up higher so you have a more clearance from the back. Three, you've got three rated rated over recovery points ready to go at a moment's notice. And four, you have protection for all of your trailer hookups on the back, and that gives you obviously a two spacer. So. One for your trail plug and another one for your Anderson or anything else you want to mount under. And it looks really good and just, yeah, it's epic. Absolutely awesome piece of kit. Starting up holes hole. and kicking oh, goals, mate. Oh, yeah, we're trying to do both at the same time, yeah, but somebody didn't mark the hole out for it. So now we can see that now that we've drilled out are these holes, we have room for uh, the big bolts in the X-Bar. Now this one's in line with the chassis, so just had to, had to give those a little notch out. Nothing, I'm, I like a drill bit I can't fix. Absolutely, man. Obviously, not every single accessory in the four-wheel drive industry is made to fit with every single other accessory in the four-wheel drive industry. So sometimes you're just gonna make a little bit of changes here and there, but yeah, all fixed up, ready to go. I will bolt this thing down and then we will get the exhaust on. All right, so now we have the exhaust to make this thing sound as good as it looks. Now that looks a bit familiar. So now this is a full stainless steel from the DPF back. Um, we want to keep with the DPF in, make sure that this thing's legal. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing bolted on and hear what it sounds like. Estimated a fitting time, one hour at 10 minutes. Easy. Oh, not bad. Done. I can't do math, but that's pretty good. The boy, like 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. Pretty good. It's gonna sound tough, at. Okay, so now we're at the most exciting part of this build. The reason why we are here in the first place are these superior coilovers. These have already been valved to suit all the bar work and all that. It's a two inch lift, eight stage adjustable a remote reservoir so we don't get a shock and fade on those bumpy roads. And yeah, just absolutely excited to get these in. I had these in the old giveaway D-Max with the black one, rode amazing and the and the adjustability you can absolutely feel. So very keen to get these in and let's do it. Wow, Rob, you know how to, you remember how to rotate these? That way. Okay. 
Other way. Ruined their day. That's the right way, boy. That way. Oh, you would have made a mess then, boy. That'd be great. So when we get back there, we're going to sit down and watch the footage with some popcorn and see that you were about to make a hell of a mess. You good with that? Sweet. You winning? Getting there. Nice. Is a good looking whale. I don't know about you. So we're gonna pair these with the um, a Mickey Thompson, a Baja, a Legend MTZs, and yeah, we're just gonna. I see how she goes. Yeah, and that's gonna look nice. Together. Now with the left wheels and tyres, it all looks a proportional. Obviously, it's sitting on the back right now because we don't have the leaves in yet. Should be good. The difference in between these leaves and those leaves, which are the stock ones, is it's built to actually hold this weight, not just like the weight of like a tub. So it's gonna ride real nice. It's gonna be a bit higher, nice little two inch lift and she's gonna look good. Solid, oh yeah. Nice carry. Yeah, baby. Two from two. Come on, give me one. That's sick. Hell yeah. That's that's a rig. That's that's game changing. Is this not the best giveaway we have ever done? Have you look at this thing? This is hands down the best D Max we have ever built. We built a lot of D Maxes, but come on. Look at it. Got absolutely everything going on. All that's left is to wire it up and um, when we get back to the Gold Coast and we've got a wheel alignment before we can actually drive home. But holy damn, damn, that is mental. Hey, huge thank you to the boys at Superior Engineering for helping us out to get this thing done. We did this in a day and a half and just absolutely transformed the whole car. He could not be happier. Cheers, boys. Oh, she rides good, eh? And she looks good too. She looks killer. Hell yeah. That is one nice looking D-Max. Mm. A day and a half, all that. A bull bar, a side and steps, a rim, bar, roof rack, a suspension, wheels and tyres, alignment, lights, winch, aerial. Yeah. That was a lot of... I think she did really well. Yeah, yeah. Everything I just bolted on real nice. It's much easier working on brand new cars oh. than old rusted out Oak Patrols, isn't it? Oak Oak Patrols. Mostly Oak Patrols, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. A good job, mate. Until next time. Good to see you again. Oh, yeah, mate. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. It's coming really good. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I reckon either this is the best of the D-Max that we've even built. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. Um, guys knocked it over. Uh, thanks for everything. Yeah, no. All good. It's always As good. Always, and thanks for letting us use other yeah. work. We shop. It's it is always uh, like a good time up here. Yeah, cool. Always fun. Oh, that's really yeah. good. So yeah, yeah, someone will be lucky when they get their hands on Hell that yeah. and start yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be jealous when this thing yeah. goes. It's a, it, it, it's a rig. I like it. Games Season 7 is underway and to celebrate a new season and the launch of the Patriot Campus Gen 2 range, we're giving you the chance to win this next Gen Explorer package valued at over $175,000, featuring an all new camper trailer from Patriot Campers. Designed to conquer any terrain, this lightweight off-road camper trailer is packed with intelligent features that will take your off-the-grid adventures to a whole new level so you can get off the beaten track and explore Australia like never before. Towing your camper trailer will be an all new Isuzu D-Max with a three litre turbo diesel engine and three and a half tonne towing capacity. Fully kitted out for a Patriot Games adventure using the gear we know and trust. Giving it more carrying capacity with a Norwell tray and canopy, a complete electronic suite from Red Ark, more connection with an XRS radio platform from GME and a serious power upgrade with a torquid exhaust. Wrapping the D-Max in bar work from Off-Road Animal, a set of P-Core signature wheels and a two-inch lift from Superior Engineering. Rigged out with recovery gear from Max Tracks and a fully equipped kitchen with a Dometic fridge and cookware plus loads of camping gear and accessories. Enter online for free at patriotgames.tv or gain additional entries by purchasing any camping gear or apparel from Patriot Supply when you use the promo code SEASON7 at checkout. Enter today at patriotgames.tv Welcome back. So uh, back over to me, hand over to me now. You've seen uh, the twins kind of took over for a little bit up at Superior Engineering, um, fitted all the gear that you've seen. I'm not going to recap everything in this episode, but some really uh, more exciting stuff is happening now. With our new partnership with, um, with Norweld, um, which I'm really, really excited about. Actually, let me just say before I do go on, this is by far the best looking giveaway that we've built so far. That is my hand on heart opinion of it. Oh, I'm so wrapped with it. I think it looks badass. A uh, big part of that's obviously the Norweld tray and canopy. Now, Norweld have their own, I suppose, partners that they work with, obviously through Red Arc, um, using Red Arc gear, um, that they install some very bespoke canopy fit outs. So what a customer would typically do is they would get their canopy and then they take it to another 12 volt specialist and do a fit out that, you know, I see some setups now running 10, 15, $20,000 setups, microwaves and fridges and 600 amp hours of lithium and all the rest of it. One of our partners, one of my favorite partners, Helm Wiring, uh, who do all the production for Patriot Campers, have come up with a brand new concept that I think is so long overdue in the market. And here today to talk you through the brand new Helm products is Joel from Helm. How are you, mate? Good, good. Morning. How's it going? Yeah, I'm good. Um, are you a little bit excited today? Or oh, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Now, we've been doing a little bit of behind the scenes R&D and R &D discussions system, and yeah. development on this bad boy right here. Run me through it. What's this thing all about? So, this is a turnkey red arc power system to suit canopy, trailers, you name it. it will Caravans, go, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bolt it in and away it goes. So yeah. it's, it's got the Red Arc Manager 30 TV mesh unit, and then it can be optioned with three different inverter models from yep. a thousand up to three thousand. Yep. Um, and then obviously it can also be left and right hand configured, which, which is, is really clever, depending on the application. So. Yep. So as far as the options that are available in this power system, it's just you just option on the inverter, right? Yeah. Same chassis, all of them are exactly the same chassis. Do you know what the dimensions are off the top of your head? Uh, 850 long. Yep. Or 485 high and 205 deep. Yep, so yep. really, really um, slimline, I suppose, for all the gear that's in it. 
Now the concept for this thing here is mountability into really anything, eh? Yeah. But how do you go with fixing? How do you fix this thing onto a uh, So there's slots on the back yep. to be able to mount it up against the hip board yep. or a bulkhead or whatever. Yeah, so you and can text screw it or zip tie it into whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever's easier for you. Yeah. And then there's also slots on the bottom. Yep, so you so can base mount it as well. Yep. Uh, base mount it or mount it on the wall. Yep. We've been doing a little bit of mucking around this morning on where we're going to put it. We're going to have to get Pedro involved uh, yep. a little bit. We're going to have to do a little bit of finessing of the Norwell canopy, but I think we found the perfect spot for it. Eh? Fingers crossed. Which we'll show you guys in just a minute. Big advantage of this thing here is the ability to swap out from left to right. So you can put this face plate on this side, that one on that side. So depending on where you're mounting it and whatever you're mounting it to, um, you can have left or right configuration, which I think is badass. Um, and what do we want to couple that to? Uh, we've got a couple of 100 amp slimline batteries. Yep. We've been doing a bit of testing and trialing with the 100 amp hour standard platform and the new Gen 2 models with you. Yep. Just trialing a few few different models at the moment and the, and the slimline and then obviously yep. a 200 as well. Yep. You can buy the system straight off the shelf you order it in left or right hand configuration. It's not yeah. something that you change at home. So I'll just, I'll clarify that. Yeah. So you have to actually order it left or right. These guys will package it, send it out left or right. You literally just bolt, bolt the thing to the wall and connect the battery. That, that's it, job yeah. done, really. And then if you want to wire anything else in, um, you obviously use yeah. this side of It's made modular. So if you add a yeah. fridge to your canopy down the track, yeah, yeah. solar panels on. Badass. You know, the, All pl right. the plugs are there ready to go. Mate, unreal. I'm, I'm actually super excited about this. Let's have a look at, um, let's show everyone where we're going to put it. We won't bring it over. So that unit's 480 high. We got 485 between here and the shelf here. It's so tight that what we're going to actually do is we're just going to notch out this part of the shelf here. And then Pedro and Joel are going to slip the thing into the side. It's already uh, pre-configured to the right hand display. So we're going to end up with our displays right here. The thing's going to be nice and tucked. We're not going to lose anything in the canopy. Now, uh, did we make a decision? We're going to put the batteries against the wall here or we're going to put them in the back? Um, Ashton actually spotted something this morning. Yeah. And there's a big cavity in the back there. Big, oh, that's actually a battery void. Yeah, so we're probably going to go straight underneath behind the drawer system. Well, then we didn't have to go slim. And, then, did we? and then we'll go with the new Dometic fridge. And... Good on you, Norwell. Good for thinking. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Uh, the camera team's going to be rocking this D-Max for most of the season uh, in between uh, Christian and Ashton using it. So we're going to use the hell out of this thing uh, this year. So the camera team for us chew that much battery power, it's not even funny. And, and Joel's you've been a little bit involved in the consumption that, that these guys use when we're out shooting Patriot Games to bring the show to you guys. So we've obviously gone with the 3000 watt inverter and 200 amp hours of lithium. So how long do you reckon you're going to be on this for? Uh, hopefully it all goes in today. And yep. I've got a few other accessories we've got to button off. A few so, LEDs that yeah. we ran through. Um, you got to put two more rigid lights on the front. Yeah. I wasn't 100% happy with the look of the front uh, of the D-Max. I thought two lights looked a little bit, so we're going to go four on a lot of TRX. Yeah. So, Pcor Trail Connect's getting installed today, 50 amp Ando at the back, and uh, red up brake controller, as well as powering up the GMA. So, mate, I'll uh, grab Pedro for you. Yeah. You guys can get into it. Awesome. Thanks for Thank moving. I'll see you later on the Sabo. All right. Thanks, mate. Right. Page one's going to have right scene, left scene, right toolbox door, left toolbox door. And on, and on, and on, and on. Morning! Morning, how's it going? Good man, how's it going? Oh, all finished. Just programming it up, and oh, we got the. Are we done? Oh, a little bit Pedro, to do in the Pedro front. doesn't look quite done. Ah, uh, he's almost there. He's almost there. Yeah. Um, go drum me through it. Um, so we've programmed it up this morning. We've obviously got our right scene lights. Yep. 
Left scene lights. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Unreal. Rears. Rears, yep. Yep. And then we've, internally we've got a right door, yep. left door, and then our shelf light underneath. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then we've got the inverter switch. Yep. And then your USB auxiliary sockets for under. Have I got USB sets? No, we can swap it if you want me. <laughs> Is it, is it yeah. the go-to movie? Yeah, you know how I feel about USB C's yeah. now, yeah. like because the, the kids only rock the fast chargers now, yeah. and we never got anywhere to put them. But anyway, dude, badass. Dometic's releasing a brand new product, so this is going to be, I think, the first time it's probably been seen on camera. Norwell have uh, just designed up the whole enclosure for this new fridge, so I'm actually really, really excited about that. Um, but the canopy setup now is just badass. How many hours to fit that? With, with a set of batteries, it is probably half a day. So four hours, yeah. for somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. I think old mate on the weekend at home might take a day. Yeah. So call it four, then, four, you know, four cartons. Yeah, so the installation's super neat, everything pre-wired, everything certified. Obviously programmable um, through Grad Vision uh, and the TVMS, so dude, I'm, I'm pumped, I think it's, yeah. I think this is one of the cleanest, most purposeful builds that we've done. It's so I think whoever's watching right now, if this is your vehicle, say thank you to Joe from Hell, yeah? Say thank you to Norwell, say thank you to everybody who's been involved in the build because I personally, next season, when we give this one away, we're gonna build another one exactly the same. Yeah. And that'll be our camera car for the next couple of seasons. 100%. Well done, man, appreciate Cheers. it. Thank, thank you very you. much. Um, before I go, let's go out the front. What are you doing up there? Uh, playing a bit of spaghetti. <laughs> Pete, you love wiring, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go like from the glue stick, from the MIG to yep. the TIG to the soldering. Gotta line. do it all, mate. Now yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it all. You love it, eh? Yeah, I do. But anyway, let's get to it. So you're doing GME yeah. install? GME install under the dash here. Yeah. Are you doing TOPRO while you're there? TOPRO. Okay, awesome. Unreal. We've got the factory driving light switch oh, install. Oh, sick. Well done. The little Bensley thing. Yep. How good's that? And the factory. Yep. And the factory the, bezel for the red arc. So that's that's probably a really good thing for people that are looking at building a car. You can get access to a lot of this stuff. So instead of cutting holes into your dash, um, there's a really good tip: buy the factory switches. The bezels you can buy from Red Arc, for pretty all of the popular Utes. So when you order your Tow Pro, or even if you order a Peak or Trail Connect, which is the easiest way to install the brake controller, watch one of our other videos. Um, make sure you get the factory bezel because bezel, everything just slots in the factory holes and everything's nice and clean. You know my style, how we build cars. No junk all over the windscreen, unless the camera team's involved and then you end up with 400 <laughs> GoPros and <laughs> freaking wires running everywhere and it hits you in the head when you're full driving. But outside of that, we generally build the cars uh, pretty clean. Uh, XRS 370's going into this. 2.1 width on the front. Magnetic, so that's another good thing now. All the XRS kits now, I'm pretty sure, uh, check when you buy one. I'm pretty sure all the XRS kits now come with um, the magnetic CV holder, which is a must have. Yeah, like, next level. It's, it's, it's just, it's the way to do it. Build is done. I think you've seen throughout the past couple of episodes, there is no doubt we've built some really cool giveaway uh, cars over the past couple of series. This one definitely takes the cake, something unique and new and different. And speaking of unique and new and different, I'm back here at Patriot HQ, inside this factory right here, my team have been busting ass working on something brand spanking new. You guys are coming with us. We're gonna show you something brand new from Patriot Campus. This can be a perfect match behind the giveaway D-Max. Hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Stay tuned, I'll see you next episode.